I think one of the key things really in what I do is working with the nervous system and this idea of charge that builds up in our bodies and starts to cloud our perception. Now, you know, as a musician, one of the most important things is knowing what is happening as you're playing. And that's not only a physical thing, but also oral, right? If you don't perceive what's happening as you're playing, if you're not getting a really clear feedback, you have no idea how to improve the piece of music you're playing, right? Of course, this is part of clarity of vision. If you have a good clarity of vision of what you want, then you have something to match against as you're playing. But if you're in what we call sympathetic arousal and nervous system, you're not hearing what's going on because your body thinks it's in danger. So let me explain that a little bit more. As we grow up, especially in very early years, and actually even in utero, so while, while you're in the womb still, your nervous system is developing. Now with the Qigong, we look at it, well, we look at it in the same way, but we're really thinking about this idea that we save all our reactions, our feelings of this is not how it should be, anger, sadness, frustration. We say that all in the body. So when this comes up into our consciousness, if let's say if we get stressed in a performance or we've had a, a potentially difficult relationship with our teacher over many years, and that's caused a trauma in our system, essentially. And that comes out when we feel under pressure, when we're on a concert platform, when we've got, this comes out and our nervous system gets aroused. So there are two parts of the nervous system. We have on one hand the sympathetic, which is the thing that gets us moving. That's when we want to move or we want to push against. That's when we get into disputes with people or we could put it in internally and that's not good enough. Self-criticism, you know, oh, again, again. You've all experienced that, right? So the other side is the parasympathetic. This is the rest and digest. This is what helps us to digest our food. This is what helps us to sleep and relax. So the idea is when we start to relax, have a nice deep breath and let it go out, that's the, that's the parasympathetic, the letting it go out. When we can do that, then we have a better perception of what's happening. A lot of people are in sympathetic arousal the whole time when they're making music, which is the least creative space to be in. So with Qigong, we're really working on getting that charge out of our system. So the charge is the, the energetic result of all that reaction. We get that out of our system with this, which is the beginning stage, really starting to reshape your nervous system. We're either taking cues of danger or safety from our environment. And doing the Qigong that I teach, we start to clear out the reactions that we've built up in our body, leaving us with more space. So come along to my class, dive in, and we will get there together. I'm looking forward to meeting you.